where we come from, they we play basketball outside, right? And sometimes we play all night till the next morning because we got the bright lights out there. So anyway, uh, after we got through playing ball, it was about six o'clock in the morning. We was going to this place, this restaurant, right around the corner from over there from the projects. We used to extort him, right? This white guy. We used to extort breakfasts out of him, you know. Yeah. So as we was going in there. This limo pulled right up beside us, and Michael Schultz, the director of Cooley High, got out of the, he got out the sunroof, and, you know, stuck his head out the sunroof, say, hey, how would you guys like to be in the movie? I'm going to say, wait a minute for a minute. We stepped off, and I say, hey, man, we would stick up me and then. Mm -hmm. I say, hey, man, D, let's go on here and try it out. If, if nothing else, we can stick the whole joint up. <laughs> you know, he was like, yeah. So he gave us the car, told us to be down there at 6 o'clock. Man, when we got there, it was tons and tons of people there. The dude said, here, I want y'all pretend there's two men, pretend there's a man in that washroom and he just took y'all money. What y'all gonna do? We did the natural. You know, brother, when you come out of there, your life is forfeited. <laughs> if you don't, you know, we gonna beat you, your woman, you know, all of that, man, you know. We had everybody in there laughing. The director turned around and told all the people that going for my, for my part, I told them, you say y'all can go home. We got who we wanted. And when we got to reading scripts, they said y'all really don't have to read scripts. Y'all just be natural, cause y'all not, cause we were bangers for real. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Cool how it's completed. I didn't think that much of it until premiere night. <laughs> premiere night. They came to the man. Look, me and my boy was dressed up, and I. They came to the project. This first time a limo <laughs> Come into the. Yeah, pick me and him up to go to the premiere. Man, when we stepped out of there, all kind of newspaper men and everybody was, you know, oh man, that's some. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a lot of things we made up. Don't you remember the wine, the part about uh, they were drinking that wine in the alley? That's what you remember say that's for the brothers who ain't here. Okay, we we told them don't give us no Kool Aid. Let them drink real wine. That way you can see the expressions on their face. Now, when you see Cooley High again, watch the expression because they drinking yeah, real cool. Yeah, they drinking real wine for real. <laughs> and we also thought, we the one thought him, told him, say, because this dude named, uh, he was one of the lead, leaders of the uh, Blackstone Rangers. And they used to scratch the rolls to pull some out for him. That's where we got that from. They got that from yeah. us, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. This is for the brothers who ain't here. Hey, man, you pouring out our wine. This is for the brothers who ain't here. <laughs> Forget them, man. They ain't here. They don't get none. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man, look, there's a lot of brothers that's dead or in jail, and we just got to give them a little bit of respect. Understand? Yeah. You pour your wine out, we'll drink all. Uh, <laughs> respect. The kid goes first. Good kid. Good, good, good. <sighs> <laughs> and then another part, don't you remember when he ran in the washroom that girl sitting on the toilet stool? They had to, we had to have a diversion. Okay, because every time we went to go catch him, we caught him. So I said, hey man, why don't y'all have somebody sitting here eating hot dog and we fall over the table. You remember that part? We fell over the table. I made that up too. Got us out, man. Bullshit. Oh man, look, let's check it all out, man. All right, we check it out, find out what really went down. You did, and we can take it from there. All right. Oh, stop your ears together. Hey, hey, go, Chase. Tell him, man. Yeah, Chase. Hey, Chase. Hey, 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 And then we said we had to tell them how to how to shoot dice. Glenn Glenn Term them didn't know they didn't know nothing. They were stars. They don't know they didn't know nothing about no dice. Straight up. Yeah, man. Oh hell no! You know when my money was walking, you made me a great man. Uh, excuse me. We say? Uh, I wasn't even talking. Oh, uh, now gentlemen, gentlemen, no need to create havoc and melee. Hmm. How much money you got left? Fifty cents. Fifty cents. <laughs> man, it don't take but a second to win fifty cents. Shooting 50 cents. 
Oh, we was shooting a dime. I know that. But now we're shooting 50 cents. Am I faded? Yeah, you faded. Coach Cheeks was going to go talk to that girl. I want your address, phone number, and all that. Then you see when that wine went across the. <laughs> we thought of that too. <laughs> no, it wasn't a real weed. The weed wasn't real, but the wine was. <laughs> because if, look, just think they smoked that weed and it was some fire. They'd have been forgetting their lines and everything. <laughs> They'd have been laughing. Because back in my day, we had the weed to make you laugh. That's the best weed in town. And let me tell you what R. Kelly said to me. R. Kelly did some videos with a scarf on his head and with a hat. He said, we got that from Stone and Robert. I was like, oh man. I'm telling you. Yeah, all the stolen. They, you know, they had to go to Hollywood to get three cars. Cause we towed them cars up every day. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we towed them cars. You know, when the dudes say do this, we didn't mean they mean do it by section and do this. They say, go steal that car and drive off. Okay. <laughs> Man, we towed the car. We but every day Hollywood would bring another car just like that the next day, man. Now, and we was going that fast for real, too. That's why I did this. I was scared, man. Man, I was scared, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. I was terrified. But they say, we give y'all $100, y'all. Because we had stunt men, right? We was like, $100, yeah. <laughs> 1975, $100 was a lot of money then, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I went to Cooley. Yeah, yeah, I went to Cooley High. Me and my boy, when we went from Cooley, we went to the armed service because <laughs> we had a price on our head. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, we were sticking up all the projects. You know what I'm saying? Sticking them all up. So they was like, had, a, had a hit out for us, so me and him joined the Army. We stayed, and when we got out of the Army, Cooley High was waiting on us. It was waiting for us, man. I was 22 years old when we did Cooley High, and I was straight up banger. Straight up banger, bro. You did? You know, I was in Chirac too. Yeah, I was in, did you see Chirac? Yeah, I was in it. Look at it again, you'll see I'm in it. I ain't got no speaking role though. And Spike told me, he said, man, you came to, cause he said, uh, he was scared of me when he first saw Cooley High. So he said that he got his inspiration from Cooley High. That's how he got to be a director. Qu quote me if I'm wrong. Anyway, he said, I came too late. He said, he said he would have loved to give me a speaking role, but he had gave them all out to everybody. I met Angela Bassett, uh, uh, Wesley Snipes, Samuel L. Jackson, Jennifer Hudson. Man, I met all of them. And, and did, brother, show as I'm sitting here. Guess what they said to me? I say, man, I've been a fan of y'all all y'all all, all my life. Guess what they said to me? No, we've been a, a fan of yours all our life. They say, cause, uh, Wesley said, cause, man, everybody didn't see Cooley High, man. And man, that was an honor for them to say that to me, man. They told us to go over there and beat him up, and we did. But we didn't know they meant not for real. We was hitting them for real, right? And they cut about, he said, cut, cut. He said, hey man, they hit me for real. And the director said, no, we meant y'all to act. Wanted y'all to act. I said, well, why you didn't say that? Why you didn't say that then? You told us to go over there and beat him up, and that's what we did. <laughs> yeah, we whooped them for real. <laughs> yeah, we whooped them. They cut it, man. They were like, cut, cut. Cause you know, we did what they told us to do. We not, we were no experienced actors, man. We all, we still in the hood, man. He said, go over there and whoop him. Go over there and beat him up. Okay, that's what we did. <laughs> when we after we did Cooley High, it was back to the norm with us, cause we. We dug sticking up. We dug it. You know, we ain't never hurt nobody. We just... <laughs>